Today, creeks across the region were on the rise. This video was sent to us from a viewer in Martin County. This is what Black Log Road looked like earlier this afternoon. Traffic was reduced to a crawl because of the high water, and oh. they are doing exactly what they, we they, tell people <laughs> they're not to do. The cardinal rule, <laughs> turn around, don't drown. You are not supposed to drive through yeah. flooded roadways. You never know if that road under the water is washed out, and it only takes two feet of fast-moving water to mm -hmm. pick up a full-size SUV and carry it down. Yeah, and we've had examples just a few weeks ago how it can turn deadly, unfortunately, and too. It really can. It's Kentucky's deadliest form of weather. So, folks, do not drive across flooded roadways. Can I emphasize that enough? Uh, still seeing a little rain out there. Here's a shot from the Stonecrest weather cam, and you can see it is uh, still pretty gloomy out across portions of Floyd County. Still some light rain up there. The rain, though, at least is becoming more light and scattered in nature, though. However, we've seen plenty of it. This is another flooded roadway. Now, this is somebody doing the right thing uh, over in Breathitt County. Check out this picture. Uh, this was sent in to us uh, by Bobby Thorpe, and you can see waiting for the water to recede or going around. That's what you're supposed to do, and uh, we've seen plenty of rain today over two inches in some locations. Here's another uh, picture of the high water. This was from Morgan County, sent in from Josh and Jessica uh, O'Neill, and we have seen a ton of rain so far. We've updated this graphic from yesterday. Yesterday we were around six and a third inches at the Weather Service office in Jackson, now over eight and a half, and we are closing in on that all-time record for April, just about an inch and a half under that. So folks, there is a good chance we will break that before all is said and done because we got more rain today, more rain tomorrow, and for several of the next days, although it looks like the heavy stuff is at least over for a bit. Flood warnings continue for the next few hours for all the counties in the dark green. Areas uh, in the green have seen two to three inches of rain so far today, with one to two inches just north of the Howe Rogers Parkway and Highway 80. Down near the Virginia border, it's not been too bad today, generally less than an inch, and we will continue to see that rain push out over the next few hours. Round number two, loading up off to the south and the west, that area of low pressure organizing near New Orleans right now. However, the flow of this low pressure heading off to the northeast, so I think we're only going to take a grazing hit from it, not a direct hit. So that means a little light scattered rain tomorrow. Some locations may pick up a half inch to an inch, but it shouldn't be as widespread and as heavy as today's rain. Temperature is still going to be on the cool side tomorrow, only topping out in the mid-60s for highs. Let's go hour by hour using future view and you will see that it's just going to be a few hit or miss showers for the next few hours. I'd say 9, 10 o'clock will move that on out and then we will see another round of rain tomorrow late morning and early afternoon. That's when we'll have the best chance of heavier rain but it should be from a line from Inez back down to the London in the southeast. I think the areas that saw the heavy rain today won't see as much tomorrow We'll just see a few light scattered showers, and that'll be the case again on Thursday. And uh, hopefully we can keep most of Thursday, Friday, and Saturday dry because of hillbilly days. However, it looks like at least some rain will be around. And uh, here's a look at what Future View is thinking over the next 48 hours or so. You can see the heaviest down near the Virginia border, about an inch, inch and a half. Maybe a little bit overdone, but we'll have to wait and see about that. Seven-day forecast for that weekend is always in view. Well, we finally have... A dry day after the weekend. Rain late Saturday, early Sunday, and then again a few showers on Monday. But Tuesday, finally a day <laughs> without a chance of rain on there, although it'll be a little cooler with highs in the 60s. Well, temperatures look pretty nice for hillbilly days. Let's hope the breaks in the rain come at the right time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, especially during that uh, 4 and 6 o'clock newscast on Friday <laughs> exactly. and uh, the parade on Saturday. Yeah. Thank you, Shane. Next in sports.